Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part 11. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss that why we use WPTP prepare methods. In the last two videos guys, we had discussed about in part number 9, in part number 10 about basic concept of WPTP as well as we had seen some methods to get to use basically to get all the data from our database tables. Now inside this, we are going to use some advanced methods which is used for the security of our input parameters. Those, these are known as prepare methods. So if we go to the next slide, so prepare methods with WPDP query. In some cases guys, if we suppose we have made some plugin and as we know that by the help of some plugin actually, we are going to take some data. If inside this playlist, if we have planned about to make a book management system inside that, we have to make some form and inside that form actually we are going to take some value from admin such as book ID, book name, book price, book description and so on. So inside these cases actually we are going to take some value from the user. So let's suppose that while entering any input value admin has basically injected a SQL query inside the input parameter or inside the input element. So this can cause problem in case there is a SQL injection on the query. Instead of simple input value, let's say inside book name means if we want to pass a valid value then it will be something book A, book 2, book 3 and so on. But admin has basically injected something delete from table where id equal to this. So in SQL injection the attacker injects a query in a forms values which we will use to create a database query. These queries can be hazardous as dumping the complete database to deleting the database. So if we want to secure our input values to be directly go inside our database, we basically use prepare statements. So if I open a new tab to understand in a better way, let's say that inside our plugin, we have a field to pass the book name. So if we want to, if we are a simple user, then what actually we will pass something, let's say book one as a book name, either we can pass book two, but let's say that our website is now hacked. So what basically attacker will pass? Attacker will pass something inside this book name, C or he will pass something let's say delete from WP post table and if suppose we have not secured our input parameters or input values via means prepared statements then this value directly go inside our database table and this is a MySQL query so it will delete all the tables means all the data from this table and it will be hazardous. So how can we protect this query to directly interact with our database table? So in between let's say user and database means user inputs if I type here user inputs and the database values in between these two we have some prepare statements. What basically these statements will do? These statements will convert these inputs into a secured, secured way which basically goes inside this database. So inside our database, we have a method for our prepared statements and this is known as if I search for the name of prepare, search for that. Let's say that if I type function and here it is. So function prepare. So inside WPDB class, we have a method called prepare. By the help of this, actually we can secure our query. So let's see that. How can we make use of that and write simple queries? So go here. And before using it, 
we have some syntax like WPDB and let's say that we are using get results function here so WPDB get results and as we know that inside this we need to pass our query so inside this query we have passed WPDB prepare method so the WPDB prepare method should be used to protect honor against SQL injection the prepare method is very similar to the printf method which takes query and then parameters values to be submitted so here inside WPTB prepare we need to write our queries with placeholders and these are the values this value is for respective placeholders like for s like for second placeholder this is the second value and here Percent S stands for the string values. Percent D stands for integer values. Let's say that we are going to insert some data inside our table. Let's say roll number and the email address. So as we know that roll number is an integer value. So inside that case, we need to pass percent D. But if we are going to insert some email address value, and as we know that email address is a string value, so in that case we need to pass percent as here so let's see that how can we use prepare methods in case of selecting data because right now we have not discussed about insertion updation and deletion queries so far while discussing about these select selected methods we are going to implement our prepare methods so back to editor let's say that wpdb get results get results or simply I'm going to use let's say get row and it is used to select only a single row so inside this I'm going to use WPDB prepare method and inside this prepare method we need to pass our MySQL query so let's say that if we are going to table inside this table and let's say that I'm going to select our first post that is about hello world and its ID equal to 1 so let's say that select all from let's say WP posts where ID equal to and as we know that this is an integer value so I'm going to pass percent D here comma separated and inside this query right now only if we have a single placeholder so we need to pass integer value this is 1 for this percent D if suppose we have some s then we need to pass here string value all we have done now so here let's say post underscore row and if I copy this variable copy that let's make some formatting by using PRE tag and let's say simply print underscore r and writing it here back to browser reload this page now we are getting about the post of id1 this is all about the details of post id1 here we can see all the parameters all the attributes we are getting so inside this video session guys actually we need to basically focus on of using prepared statements so prepared statements basically used to protect our input values which directly interact with our database values in case some user has injected MySQL queries which is hazardous with the database values so in those cases by using this prepare method we can secure that so in upcoming videos we will see about insert operation update and delete as well as select methods as well so in those cases we will use prepare methods with all the WPDB methods so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day